Good day everyone. Our topic for today is all about word problems involving circular permutation. So let's start. Here's our first question. Question number one. In how many ways can pipe couple sit themselves around in a circular table if spouses sit opposite each other? And letter B, men and women are alternate. So let's have the solution for letter A. So una, gawa muna tayo ng isang malaking table. Yung goal natin, para dun sa letter A, dapat yung mag-asawa ay magkatapat ng upuan para kita nila yung isa't isa. Now, kahit saan lumipat yung husband, katapat niya lang yung kanyang wife. So ang tendency, igugroup natin yung mag-asawa as one. So ikangout natin siya as one. So ang tanong, ilang groups meron tayo? So since meron tayong five couples, meron tayong five groups. So lagay natin yung ating five groups. So we have A, B, C, D, and E. Now yung tanong, how many ways natin pwedeng arrange yung limang object sa round table? So simple lang, i-fix natin yung isa. So we have 5 minus 1 factorial different ways. Now, asan dyan yung mga asawa nila? Andun sa katapat nila. Like this. Now, dito sa ating scenario, yung black letter A ay yung asawa ni red letter A. Now, notice na kung magpapalit sila ng position, sila ay magkatapat pa rin. Okay? Now, ilang ways nila pwedeng gawin yon. So, we have two factorial way. Now, ang tanong, meron tayong limang couples. So, yung letter A, meron tayong two factorial. Si B, pag nagpalit yan, meron another two factorial. Si C, pag nagpalit, another 2 factorial. Si D, another 2 factorial. At si E, another 2 factorial. So, we have 2 factorial times 2 factorial para kay B, para kay C, para kay D, at para kay couple E. Now, therefore, the total number of ways kung saan sila ay magkatapat sa upuan is equal to 768 different ways. And letter A, we're done. Now, let's move on to letter B. Men and women are alternate. So, simple lang, yung kulay black na letter, ito yung mga men, and yung kulay red, sila yung mga women. So, ang tendency, i-arrange muna natin yung mga men, so fix natin yung isa. So, we have 5 minus 1 factorial different ways, and then, meron tayong limang space para dun sa ating 5 women, therefore, meron silang 5 factorial ways para i-arrange yung mga sarili nila. Now, simplify, and we get... 2,880 different ways kung saan yung men and women are alternate. And we're done. Now, let's move on to example number two. Three boys and three girls are to be seated on a round table. If one of the boys does not want to be seated with any of the girls, also, one of the girls does not want to be seated with any of the boys, how many arrangements are possible? Now, kapag ganito yung ating scenario, much better na gumawa tayo ng illustration para mas maintindihan natin yung question. So, in this case, gawa muna tayo ng illustration. So, gawa tayo ng round table. Ilagay natin yung boy number 1, boy number 2, and boy number 3. Girl 1, girl number 2, and girl number 3. Next, sa figure natin, i-identify natin sino dyan yung boy na ayaw tumabi kay girl at yung girl na ayaw tumabi sa kahit anumang boy. So, ang tendency, sila yung napapagitnaan nung dalawang boy at nung dalawang girl. So, eto sila. Since ayaw niyong tumabi sa kahit anumang girl, ang tendency, dapat napapagitnaan lang siya ni B1 at saka ni B2. So, igugroup natin sila as one group. So, ang tendency, si B2 ay palagi nasa gitna ni B1 sa saka ni B3. Also, ganun din yung girl number 2. Kailangan nasa gitna siya ni girl 1 at saka ni girl number 3. So, ang tendency, meron lang tayong dalawang groups dito. Grupo ng mga lalaki at grupo ng mga babae. Now, how many ways natin pwede silang i-arrange in a round table? So, simple lang yon So, we have 2 minus 1 factorial. Now, notice na pwedeng magpalit si B1 at si B3 still nasa gitna pa rin nila si B2. Now, ang tanong, ilang ways nila pwedeng gawin yung pagpapalitan? And meron lang tayong 2 factorial way. Next, Tandaan mabuti na pwede magpalit si G1 at si G3. So, meron na naman tayong another 2 factorial way. Kasi kung magpapalit ng position si G3 at saka si G1, still nasa gitna pa rin nila si G2. Therefore, in total number of ways must be 2 minus 1 factorial times 2 factorial times 2 factorial. Simplify, we have 4 different ways. 
Therefore, meron lang tayong four ways if one of the boys does not want to be seated with any of the girls and one of the girls does not want to be seated with any of the boys. Now, let's move on to question number three. So, question number three. How many different ways can seven men and five women be seated at a round table if no two women sit together? Now, sa ganitong klase ng scenario, kailangan gumawa tayo ng illustration. So, let's have a big table and ilagay natin yung seven men. So, we have M1, M2 hanggang M7. Now, ang question, how many ways natin pwede arrange yung seven men sa round table? So, ang tendency, fix natin yung isa. Therefore, we have 7 minus 1 factorial different ways. Now, yung goal natin, hindi makakatabi yung 5 women. So, ang tanong, saan sila pwedeng maupo? And the answer ay dun sa pagitan ng bawat men. Now, ang tanong, ilang space yun? So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Therefore, merong 7 spaces para dun sa 5 women. Yung first women, meron siyang 7 choices na pwedeng upuan. Yung pangalawang women, since naupuan na yung isa, so meron na lang siyang 6 choices. Yung pangatlo, meron na lang siyang 5 choices. And yung pang-apat, meron na lang siyang 4 choices, and so on, and so forth. Therefore, we have 7 permute 5 different ways para mamili yung 5 women dun sa 7 spaces. Now, simplify, we have a total of 1,000,000 814,400 different ways para may upo yung 7 men and 5 women in a round table and no 2 women sit together. And we're done.